Today we're opening the forgotten Yu-Gi-Oh product. What's up guys, we're back with another versus opening. So we are gonna be opening, okay, there's two different ways you can show this. It's actually pretty nifty for taking thumbnails. I can look at it this way, which is easier to show on the camera, and then I can do it like this for the thumbnail so it's like not so long. This is actually kind of a crazy product. They were ahead of their time. This, I call the forgotten Yu-Gi-Oh product because deluxe editions just never really caught on. I mean, there was a few of them in like the Zexel era. I think they technically had the deluxe edition with the starter deck Pegasus and then a starter deck Joey's. If you guys remember those a long long time ago maybe we could pop those up on the screen they're pretty rare actually because these just weren't like the most desired things ever they have like packs and they have some other stuff inside it's actually similar to like ocg products i actually love these i think they're really cool you get a lot of value when you actually open these up the problem is everything's unlimited so i think that they need maybe first edition ones of these i doubt it'll happen but I, they're probably not coming back but i think these are pretty cool and i said versus why did i say that that's because we're going to be opening nine Power of the Duelist, I almost am out of these packs. So you've seen a lot of Power of the Duelist on the channel, but appreciate it while it's here because I think this is about to be the end. And before we hop into the versus battle, GX versus Zexel, which is basically what we're doing, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two BCCG slabs, Magic Jammer and Heavy Storm from Metal Raiders. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know you've I think breath. Okay. Whew. Let me know if Zexel or GX is going to win this one. So for Zexel, they are unlimited packs, but we're going to count everything inside towards their value. And then we have first edition here. So they have the advantage there. We could pull a big ultimate rare, which could really swing towards the GX side. So let me know what you think will win. Let's get into the opening. So for this one, I think we're going to start off with power of the duelist. Should we alternate? We should probably alternate. That's more fun. Okay. We'll open up the product. Then we'll get into it. Honestly, the more I look at these, the more I like these nine boosters inside. What else is in there? We have a couple of promo cards which are kind of weird because they're like i think foiled out versions previous commons and other sets pretty strange and then uh, i think a couple other things maybe like a some sleeves or something i don't know let's see all right so first of all one of the coolest parts about these is that you get these like boxes and this has the gravekeeper one which is really awesome and then you can store cards in here i actually use like multiples of these to like store my tcg player orders and stuff like that uh these are actually really nice these are i guess they're kind of like pokemon elite trainer boxes now that i think about it because they have this and then do they have sleeves in here i don't remember what else is in here uh we get a promo is it only promo in packs maybe if we had thrown in some sleeves that would make these a little bit cooler we also get this the beginner's guide which i mean i guess this is cool when you're younger but it's kind of just worthless when you get older it's not that great they definitely had room for sleeves here i think that should be something they'd add oh we do get some sleeves okay but they're kind of the junky ones these are like the smaller ones that you could use to double sleeve they're not like that bad but maybe we could see some actual nice sleeves kind of like they're using in mavens right now if they brought these back i think this could actually be a popular product if they did that and then uh, we've got the Sylvan Peacekeeper, the Peacekeeper. I always love this guy. So uh, inside of this, there is potentially another card. Let's just open it up. Why not? This is an opening. Oh, yeah, because we have to do the total price. So the Sylvan Peacekeeper, we're doing a battle between Zexel and GX. So whatever the Peacekeeper is worth, if either of these are over 10 bucks or over a dollar, not 10 bucks. Muj Intervention, I doubt they're over 10 bucks. That'd be pretty insane. Then we have our nine Legacy of the Valiant packs. Definitely not the same quality in terms of like Power of the Duelist, probably, but they did have a little advantage having those sleeves which I think we can probably put these at like a three or four dollar value something like that and then whatever the peacekeeper went for let's start off with legacy of the valiant let's see who can win this battle I'm excited to open these up because I don't get to open Zexel too much I mean sometimes we open it if you can get a hold of it but it's getting a little bit older at this point so it's not every day you get to open it snapdragon rose witch we got the deep space cruiser nine the black brachios mystic macro carp up seed okay the uh, azura strike and mighty warrior so I think the foil would have been either after or before that rare I'm not totally sure. We're going to have to find out once we finally pull one. Power of the Duelist first at... Ow! <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Wow. That hurt. That really hurt. Okay. Power of the Duelist first at... I just hurt myself on this pack. Got to be careful because opening a lot of packs, guys, it's not an easy job. Okay? People are like, oh, yeah. You just open packs, man. Yeah, but you know what? They're paper cuts. Ever heard of them? Yeah, they're dangerous, man. So, yeah, stuff can happen. Okay? This is not just a cushy office job, you know? Just because you work in the warehouse doesn't mean that it's hard. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, that's Nero Defender. We got the, the Rescue Roid. That was an office reference, by the way. Okay, the Accord Connection Zone. Uh, Fossil Excavation. And we have Cyclone Blade. Starting it off with a rare. I wanted to clarify because I didn't want people in a warehouse to get offended. If I said that, they're like, wait, whoa, I work in the warehouse, man. What's wrong with that? Hey, take it back, dude. The warehouse is sick. All right, let's go. We got the Swordsman from a Distant Land. All right, Sylvan uh, Guardiac. I can already feel the comments. Ruxin is on one today. I see, I see that comment all the time. Anytime I get a little animated, that's what happens. Spy Plane. We got the uh, Reverse Burst. Dark Artist. 
So, oh, Sylvan Miko range. I don't know what just happened there. And Purge Ray. So uh, yet again, something. I don't know if the, where the foil is. So far, I think Legacy of Valiant's just winning because they're sleeves. That's all they've had to do, really. And maybe their promos added a little bit. I doubt it. I bet those promos are worth like 12 cents. But I could be wrong. Maybe Peacekeeper's a big one. You know, maybe it's popular in an old format or something. I I don't think so. But we'll see. Okay. Decoy Roid. Yeah, Sylvans were good at one point, though, weren't they? I know they were in Duel Links, but that doesn't mean anything for the physical card game. Uh, Blade Master, we got the Fear Monger. We are looking, by the way, for the Chimera Tech Over Dragon Ultimate Rare out of here. I would love to have it. Order of Bombardment, we've got the Black Terra, and we've got Alien Mother. We're also looking for Dark Neos, Flare Neos. Those are good ones as well. So if we could pull those, that would be fantastic. I would love to do that. Let's see what we can get out of Legacy of the Valiant. Can we get anything? Can we get a Ghoster or Ultimate Rare or Secret Rare? They're all in this set. The uh, Sire Norco, the Purge Ray, Dark Artist, Xyz Avenger, Ghost Rick Jack Frost, the Xe Shift, Hidden Doubles of the Necro Valley, and is this a foil? No, it's not. I could. Sometimes the light catches it just right and it does look like a foil, but that's okay. We have many other chances. Recently, we have had, when we've done these like 5Ds versus GX, that was a nightmare of a video. We didn't pull anything good. Then we did GX versus GX. It was great. And now we're doing Zexel versus GX and so far nothing. So uh, it's interesting how that's working. Blade Master, we're not just having average stuff. We're doing good or awful. Alien Gray again. Wait, is that the same? Did we pull that twice? No, we didn't. Alien Hunter. Synthetic Seraphim. We got the Black Terror. We have seen these many a time. Orbital Bombardment and... Neo Space, that is another rare. Okay, we're looking at rares. We are looking to be looking at ghost rares, you know, foils, ultimate rares, secret rares, you know, stuff like that is what we want to see here. One, two, three. Can we do it? Let's go. Interplanetary purpley thorny beast. Okay, we got the overlay sentinel. The Gorgonic Guardian. This card was crazy in duelings for a bit. The Chronomaly at Moya Carrier. The White Dust in. Look at him. The Proud Dust of them all. What's oh, what amazing flavor text. That is awesome. We got the uh, Bajingi Swallow. This guy definitely has a Teletubby vibe with that like handle at the top. You know what I'm saying? Bajingi Swallow. We got the Monarch's Awaken. That's a pretty strong card, actually. Ghost Trick Go Round. Wait, are there two cards back here or one? No, but there is a foil. I can just feel the foil. It was so thick back there. That's probably that's probably not the right wordage for that but that's a super rare maybe that's worth a dollar that's awesome all right we finally pulled a foil power of the duelist first edition here we go will we pull something epic something amazing ultimate rare let's go let's pull that chimera attack that i've been searching for for a very long time alien hunter brainwashing beam miracle jurassic egg mausoleum of the emperor contact alien gray fossil excavation the Accord Connection Zone and an Ultimate Tyranno. Hey, it's a super rare. We're taking that. We have finally pulled a foil out of Power of the Duelist. Uh, I don't really know what the score is right now. You guys will see it on the screen, but probably pretty low on each side. Uh, I don't think I missed anything too crazy, unless like Monarchs Awaken or something like that is worth a $5 common. I don't think it is. Photon, what is that? Photon Charge, man. Ghost Rick Yeti. We got the Standoff. Monarchs Awaken. We already saw that. Gorgonic Gargoyle. We got Starship Spy Plane. Release, reverse, burst. The Bujin Unity. And we have, is it a foil? Mobius, the Mega Monarch, secret rare. And yeah, I don't think this is a crazy card. This one though, I actually might need this for my binder. So if you guys know, we're doing the ghost rares. So in this set, it's Mobius, the Mega Monarch and secret ultimate and ghost, I believe. And I am collecting every card in Zexel and all those sets like that, that have the like three different rarities. And I don't think I have the unlimited secret rare near mint. I might but I'm gonna have to double check. So this is a pretty cool pull. Do they have a drop shadow around the text? Do they always do this? I never really noticed this drop shadow around the outside of the, uh, around side of the, the photo. That's cool, I guess. Just a little update after the video. I did, well, I guess it'll be during the video, but I did actually need this card because I had a light play one. So this is gonna be going into the binder. That's actually exciting. I am pretty sure that card's not that crazy in terms of value, but I'm super happy about it. That's a that's a super cool pull, especially if we actually need, I'm stumbling all over my words, especially if we actually need it for my binder. One, two, three, four. Now let's pull the Chimera Tech, Royal Writ of Taxation, the Alien Skull, Rallus the Starbird, Amulus Roid, Flying Saucer Muscle. We got the Paths of Destiny. We got D Spirit. One a garage and an ultimate rare Neo Spatian Dark Panther. This is a good card. This is like $150. So, Legacy of the Valiant, 
Yeah, you lost. <laughs> you guys lost. It's, it's, I mean, you can pull the ghost rare and you're still going to lose, I think. I don't know if there's anything that we can pull here. But if we do pull a ghost rare, you know, it could be overturned just by the, you know, the comments being like, hey, look, a ghost rare is better than an ultimate rare. Some people believe that. Some people don't. It could turn the tide. I mean, it doesn't have to be all about value. Overlay booster, synchro seed, the utopia roots uh, rare, and rank up magic astral force. Look at that shine. Wow, look at that shine. Lightning McQueen is at it again ultra rare very cool wow okay this opening is picked up big time we got a secret rare and an ultimate rare neo space and dark panther is a good one so that's super sick uh can i open this pack there we go also i mean i'm just this made me think i was like am i gonna grade that dark panther psa has had a bulk sub of mine at the st seventh step out of eight for like a month so i've been waiting on that to come back and they just have not finished it so hopefully soon we will have that in a bgs return as well baby sarasaurus we got the crystals dolphin Paths of Destiny, we have Amos Rescue Roid. So next, it's a Cosmic Horror Gengiel. That's never one you really want to see, Cosmic Horror Gengiel. Legacy of the Valiant. It's three more packs of each. Let's see what we can do. Ghost Rare. I think it was the last card when we pulled that Secret Rare, right? Okay, Gorgonic Golem. We've got the Bujan Regalia, the Jewel. Luminous Dragon Ritual. Mystic Markappa Seed. Chronomaly Moy Carrier. White Dustin. Bujangi Swallow. Oath of Companionship and a Gravekeeper's Ambusher. Okay, Power of the Duelist. First dead. Let's go. Royal Writ of Taxation. Hardest card to say ever. Rallis of Starbird. Sabersaurus. Black Stego. Baby Sarasaurus. We got Baby Saurus and Baby Sarasaurus. Okay. Wait, no, Sabersaurus, not Baby Saurus. Okay, contact. I'm losing it. Crystal's Dolphin. We've opened this a million times. Still don't know the names. Ammon's Rescue Roid and Neospace. All right, two packs to go. A Legacy of the Valiant. Can we get a ghost rare? One, two, three, let's do it. We have the Kentatosa, the Interplane of Terry Jerpoli Thorny Beast, Gorgonic Ghoul, Dodo -do Buster, Ghost Trick Museum, Ghost Trick Skeleton, Sylvan Blessing, Ghost Trick Adelahan, and Gorgonic Guardian. A lot of Xyz monsters in here. I'm always like, every time I see an Xyz monster, I think it should be a foil. It's not always a foil, so I think it is gonna be, and it's not. We're gonna open these two power duelists back to back because they're ahead right now, I think. And then we'll finish with the Laval. See if we can pull a Ghost Rare to end it. One, two, three, four. Can we get some big Ultimate Rare Wise? We got a Blade Master. We've only pulled two foils out of here, not a lot. Crop Circles, Rallis of Starbird, Alien Skull, Synthetic Seraphim, Amulet's Rescue Roid. We got the Alien Gray, Vicroid Connection Zone, and. Oh, there's a foil Super Vicroid Jumbo Drill. All right. Three out of eight is actually pretty high in terms of foil ratios, especially in the older stuff like GX. We will take that. All right, two packs, one Power of the Duelist, one Laval from the forgotten Yu-Gi-Oh! product, which I think is a pretty cool product. Let me know what you think about the uh, deluxe editions in the comments. I think they're pretty cool. I think they could bring them back, tweak them a little bit, and make them really awesome. Miracle Jurassic Egg, Mausoleum of the Emperor. They basically do them in the OCG, and they're crazy. Decoy Roid, Bite Lawn, the Accord Connection Zone, Destiny Hero Fearmonger, Rescue Roid, Orbital Bombardment, and the D-Chain, the Chain of the D. And we go on to the final pack, Legacy of the Valiant. Our final chance to pull something amazing. Let's go, one, two, three. We can do this. Sylvan God Yuck. Swordsman from a Distant Land. Ghost Trick Mummy. Sylvan Blessing. Gilla Gilla Lancer. Gilla Gilla Lancer. Okay, we got the, what does it say? Abercrombie and Fitch of the Borist. Okay, of the Forest. Okay, I messed that up. Oh, uh, overlay booster. And then a uh, Sylvan Akuma Mushroom. And then our final pull. Will it be a Ghost Rare? Let's go. No, but it is that card that you use in the uh, the Magnet deck on, uh, on New Links. Okay, Taco Crusader. All right, that was a fun opening. We actually had some pretty solid pulls for only 18 packs. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, Anna Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the the next one. Peace.